Eyewitness News, Nightcast. So those space invaders are getting the better of you, eh? And the only way you can beat Pac-Man is to unplug the machine? Well, have we got the answer for you. Nightcast reporter Pam Harper is standing by with a live eye and her Nightcast Extra. Everything that you need to know to win your next video game. We can hardly wait, Pam. Well, Dave, as all the people here know and anyone who's ever played video games knows, it takes a while to get the hang of any of them. But there are ways that you can stretch your video quarter to rack up more points and make your games last longer. We consulted a variety of experts and players and spent quite a few quarters to find the winning strategy. There are dozens of different video games running the electronic gamut from A to Z with every conceivable form of devilish monsters that will quickly devour you and your quarters if you're not careful. And judging from the numbers, the monsters are winning. Researchers estimate Americans spent up to $8 billion on video games last year. That's more than they spent on any other form of entertainment. And they're not just kids' games. More and more adults are getting into the video habit. I play at least five days a week. At least once a day, somewhere, someplace, I'll play the video game. The game that started this machine madness was Space Invaders back in 1978. Its popularity revolutionized the video game industry. The players figured out pretty quickly how to wipe out the attacking green aliens. And by the end of 1980, Space Invaders was getting blasted out of first place by asteroids. In this game, your ship must destroy floating rocks and shooting spaceships before they destroy you. The controls here are much more complex, but again, the strategy is fairly simple to figure out. When all the asteroids are destroyed, a whole new way will come at you. So our expert, who with a friend scored more than two million points, gives this advice. I try to throw away all the rocks and, and just leave one slow one at the end. Then you wait for those ships to come out and hit those. You get more points by doing that and then hitting all the rocks. Two more tips, stay in the center and use hyperspace only in emergencies because it could send you hurling into a rock when you reappear on the screen. Experts score up to 80,000 points on asteroids, still one of the most popular games in any arcade. An even more successful creature game is Centipede. It's been one of the top money makers ever since it was introduced 10 months ago. An average machine has been bringing in $225 a week. It's one game that seems to attract a lot of women. In fact, it was designed by a woman at Atari. It's fast moving. It's exciting. It's not like you're shooting to kill someone. This is the only game I play. You must try to blast the crawly thing to smithereens as it winds its way down a field of mushrooms. Clear away a path of mushrooms on the bottom so you get a clear shot at it. Don't hit it with a stray shot too early, or it will split into two centipedes. Try to get your bug blaster as close as possible to the bouncing spiders when you hit them. That will give you more points. Listen for the dive bombing sounds that will warn you when fleas are coming, so you'll have time to shoot them. Try to clear a path to hit the occasional scorpions before they poison the mushrooms and send the centipede diving toward you. One last tip, keep your gun as high as possible to get faster fire. Our expert who won the National Centipede Contest last year has his own unique strategy. I'm trying to clear away all the mushrooms so the centipede will come down slower and that makes it easier to play. Most of the time he doesn't shoot the centipede, only the spiders and fleas. If you want to play forever, you should play this way. His strategy must work. His highest score on this game was 1,700,000 points. Good players can get up to 60,000 points. Thank you.